Dann möchte ich keine gehen. Our journey begins in New Delhi, one of the biggest and most popular cities in the world. First thing to do is to pick up the bikes. Now we need to get used to the Indian traffic and to the bikes. Just hope that I don't crash it, you know, with that kind of traffic going on in the city. We left Delhi driving on the highway, a city called Chandigarh. There are cars coming from left and right, everyone's beeping. You don't have any space to move. Test drive around the block ends up being an adventure. Because I don't know if I survived the test drive around the block. And that's why I definitely yeah, wanted to do it. And for Kenny, it was kind of like, yeah, we need you and I'm gonna do a 3000 miles trip to the Himalayas. So, alright. Okay, I wanna be a part of that. I went to buy some gloves, some scarves kind of like last minute actions and thought like yeah that will that will be enough so you get a scarf and you get some clothes and you keep on driving. You're trying not to get a flat tire. When there's traffic you're trying not to hit another car. There are sandy mountains, rocky mountains, the road changes as well. Have two canisters for petrol. There are those, those big trucks that pass by, you know, so when you drive, whether you have a helmet on or not, you gotta get your polluted face. And I just felt completely exhausted. What? Happily exhausted. Landscape constantly changes, and uh, we're probably in an altitude of 10,000 to 40,000 feet. While I was running, I felt like. <sighs> I needed to stop because. I was out of breath because I couldn't really breathe that strong and that's where I really felt that pressure and the altitude. We were driving towards the mountains and it became colder. We kind of like realized with time that we probably need a little bit more stuff than we thought we needed. We tried to be as fast as we possibly could to reach the next town or anything on the way that looks like there is life. Pretty soon we started freezing because we didn't have any boots or bags over it. Couldn't move my fingers, couldn't move this local guy from there. Probably lives in the Himalayas or something like that. And he looks at me and I'm just like, fire! And he was like, fire? Okay, fire! Brings it open, puts it on fire. Got my feet and pushed it into the fire. It was just lying there stiff thing and I didn't feel anything I didn't feel my feet and I thought that I'm gonna lose some of my feet probably one or two now you feel conscious in your feet a little bit better okay a little bit just Beautiful view over time, that's an intriguing beauty about it. I, uh, well, you know, there's something that I can really take from that and left kind of like an impression on me is that also when we stopped in between, when after like four or five hours of constant driving, we stopped maybe for 10 minutes, 15 before we kept on, and there's this silence, there's this view. Um, there, there are those pictures that have been placed in, in my mind because we drove through it, you know, and um, gave kind of like an opportunity to to appreciate those little moments of silence, pay a lot of attention to the details of your environment. You just let it influence you, you know.